Hey everyone, so back at the shop today working on the Porsche. Uh, today we're gonna do a few things. The plan is to create a prototype version of this brace. We're gonna do it out of wood with the, uh, the CNC router. Make work, find, try to finalize the profile for this piece. I'm doing it out of wood before I do it in aluminum and basically just allow me to prototype it and work out the final shapes much easier, much quicker, much cheaper. So, gonna work on that today. Also, uh, the plan is, I think, since we're getting so close, it's time to switch out this engine. So, this is my like mock-up engine, and I have a couple other ones. So, I'm gonna take this. We're gonna take this one out, uh, switch it out for the the other one I have, and bolt up the. Because right now the clutch isn't on this one. So the plan is, switch it out, grab the other engine bolt up the clutch, bolt up the transmission and the adapter plate all properly, get it in, and start for the final prep. Uh, finalize everything, install the wiring harness, it's like 90% complete, and once it's in, with the new engine, with the clutch on, everything, then the plan is to start it up, so we're not too far away. So yeah, I'm gonna, let's start making that piece, see how it fits, and then uh, I guess start taking this thing out. So let's see how that goes today. So yeah, here we go. We have our sample of the brace cut out with by the CNC router. Uh, I'm gonna test fit it now, but basically this is what we've worked out so far for the, the profile of our new brace. And uh, let's see if it fits. All right, let's see how it fits. Pretty good. Fit beautifully. So, this is the profile. I've got maybe, eh, maybe a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. But we were shooting for about quarter of an inch clearance all around there, but fits well. And no matter what, we're gonna have to sacrifice a bit of ground clearance, but it's not really too bad. Um, I'll get it down on the ground so you can see what we're working with ground clearance wise, but I think this brace is pretty nice. So it's gonna be all machine. Basically, I have a big chunk of aluminum, 6061. We're gonna machine it all out of that. And then this will be sort of all sorted out for the, the suspension brace, which is kind of a big part of it. So, so now that we know it fits, well, clears, I'm gonna get it down on the ground and just double check the ground clearance and make sure we're happy with that. There it is on the ground, looks pretty good. Oh, I miss seeing this car on the ground. I love the look of this car, it's, I cannot wait for it to be back up and running. But uh, yeah, so this is it on the ground. It's not, the suspension's not fully settled, so it got, has to come down a bit, but there's tons of clearance. Plenty, I'm not concerned. No matter what, it's not like this car has lots of ground clearance to begin with, so. But, basically this is exactly where the engine's gonna be, and 
this is the amount of ground clearance we're working with for the oil pan. So I think it's pretty reasonable. So yeah. It's amazing how much space there is to work with now. There's so much more room in this engine bay than compared to what what was left with the with the Porsche engine in there. Okay, so I guess now that we sorted all that out, it's uh, time to take out the engine and start getting the, the proper one in there and start finalizing things. So let's pull this engine out. Okay, so I have my other, one of my other engines here. This one is more complete. Haven't really taken apart this one at all. So all the accessories are still on, belt and whatnot. So the plan is finally attach the adapter clutch kit and the adapter plate to this engine, bolt up the transmission and start dressing this fully um, in preparation for I guess the final install. So this will be the engine, this will be the stock engine that I run in the Porsche um, for now. And eventually, depending on how it goes, eventually I'll build the other one that I had. So I'm gonna start putting this together. Put the clutch kit on, put the adapter plate on, put the transmission on, the intake manifold on, the coolant housing, adapter plate on, and see how far we get. All right, so getting ready to bolt everything together. Have to get this flywheel with plus adapter onto the K24 engine. This is the clutch disc, goes with it. And then the pressure plates over there. Supposedly this clutch is good for about 500 foot pounds of torque and with street like stock drivability. So I'm very curious to see how it, uh, how it is. But I guess let's get started putting this all together. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how this thing fits. All right, it's pretty good. I'm gonna put one bolt in just to hold it. Ah, oh, it fits really nice. Okay, so gotta put Loctite on these and torque them down to 90. Okay, so the clutch and the flywheel is all bolted up to the engine. Looks pretty good. I went on nicely. It's a really nicely machined piece. So this thing is tough. It's all steel, so it should be nice and strong. It's a bit heavy, but hopefully that doesn't really, I don't know, hopefully it doesn't really affect drivability. Otherwise, it looks fantastic. It's, uh, it's a beefy piece. So anyways, so now it's time for the adapter plate. So we'll put the adapter plate on and then we will see how well we have aligned this clutch and how hard it is to get this transmission on now. All right, transmission's back on. Everything's bolted up nice and tight. The clutch is in there, the flywheel's in there. So we're gonna have to dress it and get it back in the car. Let's see how, just get that one step further to being done. It went on nicely with the clutch. I was worried that it was gonna not align well, but it did, so. So now that we're getting close to putting the engine in, uh, one thing I haven't talked about is what I'm doing for the fuel system. So because the fuel system is a returnless system, the plan for now is to use the stock Honda S2000 fuel rail and adapt and then adapt it to the Porsche fuel system. The Porsche fuel system is I think a 3 8 line. So it then uses the OEM style fuel injection fitting. So I got this fitting, which allows me to plug into the original Porsche fuel system. And then this special K-tuned fitting allows me to adapt to the Honda fuel rail. Fuel injectors wise, we're going with the Performance Fuel Injection set from Performance Fuel Injection. Uh, they're one, Bosch 1000cc injectors. Uh, I use these guys all the time. 
they are helping me out with this build, so I want to give a big thanks. This is their, uh, if you want to check them out, their, their Facebook page is Performance Fuel Injection. Get in touch, they have amazing deals on injectors, they're Canadian, so shipping is nice and easy. I, I always recommend them for, for the projects I'm working on to all my clients. They've never let me down, so big thanks to them. And uh, if you need injectors, definitely check them out. But uh, so as part of what we're doing today, I'm going to install them with the S2000 rail so that it's all ready. And then once, once we've got everything in, then I'll sort out the, the actual fuel line. I also have to give a thanks to K-Tuned. They've hooked me up with a lot of the parts, uh, a lot of their Dash 8 fittings, which is what I'm going to be using for the fuel line to connect the Porsche fuel system to the Honda fuel system. So, yeah, I'll uh, show you that as we go along. Okay, so fuel and fuel rail on. The uh, 1,000cc injectors are installed. I have the the K-tuned fuel fitting on the rail with a, one of their 90s to dash eight. So this is the plan. 1,000cc injectors, OEM S2000 fuel rail, K-tuned fuel injection fitting adapter, and one of the K-tuned dash eight 90s. And then we're gonna run dash eight line to the stock Porsche uh, fuel line. So everything is bolted up. We're almost ready to put it in. Throttle body's on, belt's on, all the accessories are on. Um, still have to make a cut one piece just to adapt this hose to here, but it's getting pretty close. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna put it in and see how that goes. Okay, the, uh, the new engine is in, everything's all kind of finalized, everything's bolted up, starter, alternator, all the accessories, intake manifold and throttle bodies all like bolted up. Transmissions all bolted up with the new adapters, clutches in. So now, uh, basically, it's at the point where I just gotta finish this wiring harness and then I think I can crank it over and see if it'll start. And uh, that'll be like the moment of truth. So. That's it for this update. Hope you guys like it and uh, thanks for watching.